Another thing that might prevent you from connecting to the target network, even if it's an open network, or if you know the key to that network, is if the network uses MAC filtering. MAC filtering is a way to allow or prevent devices from connecting to the network based on their MAC address. MAC filtering can be implemented in two ways. The first method is using a blacklist. So the network will prevent any device that's listed in that blacklist from connecting to the network, but allow everybody to connect to it. This can be easily bypassed by changing your MAC address to a random MAC address, and then you'll be able to connect to the network. The second method, which is the trickier one, is if the network uses a whitelist. This is the opposite of a blacklist, so the network will prevent everybody from connecting to the network, even if the network is open. And it will only allow the devices listed in that whitelist. So changing your MAC address to a random MAC address will not allow you to connect because the network only allows specific devices to connect to it. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to bypass whitelists because blacklists are really easy and all you have to do is just change your MAC address to a random one, like I said, and you'll be able to bypass it. Right here I have my router and it's not hidden anymore, so it's broadcasting its name. It's called Test AP. It's not using any encryption, but again, MAC filtering can be used with hidden networks and it can be used with encryption. Bypassing it is the same though, so we can bypass it using MAC changer regardless of whether the network is hidden or not, and regardless of the encryption used on the network. So I have the network to none, not using any encryption, and I'm using a whitelist. And I only added the MAC address for this specific MAC machine, so any other machine cannot connect to this network, only computers that have the MAC address, this MAC address can connect. And my Mac computer right here has this MAC address. That's why if I go on Wi-Fi here, you'll see that it's connected to test AP. So if I go to the Windows machine and try to connect to the network. Now, as I said, it's an open network. As you can see here, it doesn't require any passwords or anything. All you have to do is just click it and connect to it. And we should be able to connect. But in this case, because the target network is using MAC filtering, you'll see that the, the Windows machine will literally just get stuck at this, and then it tells us that it can't connect to this network. So to bypass this, we're going to first of all run aerodump ng against all networks around us just to see information about them. And I'm doing it real quick here because we've done this a lot by now. So I'm just doing aerodump ng mon0 to list all the networks around me. And of course, Mon0 is my wireless card in monitor mode. And as you can see here, I can see my target network, which is called Test AP. It's an open network, and we can see its MAC address. The next step is going to be for me to run Aerodump NG against this specific network so we can get more information about it and see if there is any clients connected to it. So again, we did this a lot by now. So I'm going to do it a little bit quickly. I'm going to do Aerodump NG. I'm going to specify the BSSID, the MAC address of the target network. And I'm going to specify the channel. And the target network is running on 6. And then I'm going to specify the name of the wireless card in monitor mode, and it's called MON0 for me. And I misspelled BSSID here, there should be no E. And as you can see, now we're running against this network only. And what we're going to do is we're going to wait for someone to connect to this network. Now we know that the Mac machine is already connected. So this just might take a few seconds for it to show up. And as you can see here, we see the Mac machine. We can see that we have a client connected because as we said, the second part of Aerodomp NG shows the connected clients. And because this client right here is connected to the network, that means that this network is allowing this client to connect to it. So the MAC address of this client must be included in the whitelist. So for us now, if we wanted to connect to that network, all we have to do is change our MAC address to this specific MAC address. And once we do that, we'll be able to connect to the network because our MAC address is going to be listed in the whitelist. 
So I'm going to copy this. And what I'm going to do next is very simple. We've done it before. All I'm going to do is I'm going to use Mac Changer. I'm going to change my MAC address to the MAC address of this computer, to the MAC address of the OS X machine. And because I'm going to do this, the network is going to allow me to connect because it's going to think that my wireless card is actually the wireless card that the MAC machine is using. So it's going to think that I'm allowed to connect to that network. So I'm going to stop AeroDumpNG and I'm going to have to put my wireless card in managed mode. And as I said in previous lectures, this is different depending on the way that you enabled monitor mode. The simplest way to do that is just to physically disconnect my card and then reconnect it back. Now I'm going to have to go to the devices, USB, and attach the device from here. And my device is called Atheros. And if I do if config, I can see my device connected now. It's called LAN0. So now we're just going to change the MAC address that we like we did before. And again, this is going to be a chance for you to revise it. So I'm going to put the wireless card down. Then I'm going to use MAC changer to change the MAC address. So we're going to do MAC changer. And in the previous video, we actually used the minus R argument just to get a random MAC address. But in this video, we want to use a specific MAC address, which is the MAC address of the client that's connected to that network. So I'm just going to use that with the minus M argument to tell MAC changer that I just want this specific MAC address. And then I'm going to give the wireless card name that I want to change its MAC. And for me, it's called LAN0. Remember, the wireless card now is in managed mode. It's not in monitor mode. So we did this command before. It's very simple. We're doing Mac Changer, which is the program that changes the MAC address for us. We're telling it that I want to use a specific MAC. And this is the specific MAC that I want to use. And then I'm giving it the name of my wireless card. I'm going to hit Enter. Now, this error shouldn't happen. So I'm just going to try to do if config LAN0 down again and then set up the MAC address to the new one. And as you can see now, the MAC address changed to the one that I want to use, the one that's allowed to connect to the network. And now if we go and try to connect to the network, we should be able to do that. So I'm going to go to my network manager. And we can see that test AP is here. It's trying to connect. And we managed to connect. And if we look at the settings again, we can see that we're getting a good signal. We have an IP address and we know the IP address of the gateway. So we basically have full access to the network and we can use it just like any other device. So the main idea to take from this is if, you, if the target network does not use a password, or if the target network uses encryption, it uses a password, but you know the password, but it, you still can't connect to it, then there is a high chance that you are blacklisted from connecting to that network. So what you should do is change the MAC address of your wireless card and get back and try to connect. If you still can't connect, then there is a very high chance that they're using a whitelist instead of a blacklist. So in this case, you're going to have to put the wireless card in monitor mode, look for connected clients, and change your MAC address to one of these clients. Once you do that, you can come back and try to connect, and you should be able to connect because your MAC address is going to be included in the whitelist, and you'll be able to connect to the network.